Hey y'all, so I want to do an update because it has almost been two months of me living in my car. Today's the 10th and it'll be two months exactly on the 16th. Um, so, <laughs> six more days and it will have been two months. Um, basically I want this video just to be kind of an update on how I've been surviving in the summers living in my car because I do live like in the Mexico. Um, desert, so it gets pretty hot. Um, the last two weeks actually were all like above 100 every single day So there's a few ways I counteracted that and I kind of wanted to explain what I did The first thing I did was I bought this fan from Amazon It was like 20 bucks and I just have it like blow straight on my face um, It has a battery so it doesn't need to be charged all the time Then I also have like a pretty good sized battery bank somewhere in here that um, it holds like two 22,000 um, amp hours or whatever it is so it basically with that um, plugged into here to keep it charged it can last for like 16 hours which I mean is more than enough to sleep because I don't have to charge it but every two days so if this is charged and that battery is charged like I'm set as far as heat on that also I kind of sleep in shifts um, like the last the last two weeks of um, June when it was that hot um, I would basically get off work at 7 because I do the overnights and um, I'd go to sleep when I got off work and kind of sleep to like 1 or 2 when it started getting too hot to really be in my car. And then I'd go inside either like Starbucks or something for a while and then I'd come back out around like 7 and sleep for like 3 more hours before I go into work. So it's just kind of a workaround in that way. Um, I mean I guess I could leave my car running but I don't want to waste the gas. I mean, the reason I'm living in my car is like money, I could wear my car, that would work. But that's really all I've done. I'm kind of thinking about getting another one of these, just to have run on like the other, put up on the other side of my car and let run too. Just because, I mean, it, it gets the air circulating really good. And I also bought these sunshades, which are on my windows. So it's like a little like sheer thing that you can put on over like the door of your car so that way you can roll your windows down and get airflow, but it still looks like the windows are up. So um, that helps not only with kind of getting some airflow in here, but also helps with the fact of like stealth, because if I just had my windows down, especially down all the way like they are now, uh, then people are gonna know somebody's in here trying to sleep. Which, on that topic, stealth, uh, I feel like I've been doing pretty good on that. Um, I haven't had any encounters with cops or anything. Thank God, knock on wood, don't want to. I mean, I don't really want to, but if they're campus police, I kind of want it to happen because then I can be like, well, maybe I could afford living in this campus house and over the summer if you didn't charge the same amount you do for a regular semester for half as long. But that's another story. But I always park pretty much somewhere on campus, and I swear people will always park right next to me and I'll just be sleeping in here. And like, I'll see them, but as far as I know, they've never seen me. I don't know if they're just that oblivious or zoned out or if these sunshades really work that well to keep it dark in here. I mean, my bed definitely sits low enough that like the door the door panels will cover me from like a decent line of sight but I mean if somebody's looking in here they could see me like let's be honest um I also have my visor I put on front and a visor I put on the back window so I feel like I feel like people should know but whatever I'm glad that you haven't so far um other than that I mean the car living life has been pretty good. A lot of people have been like judging work and family wise. They keep telling me I should get a van, my family, and I'm like, I want one, but I don't want to spend the money. And at the same time, I feel like for the most part, it's going to be just as hot in a van as it would in my car. So, what's the difference? Um, I'm kind of thinking about getting a reflectix to put around on all my windows from like Lowe's or Home Depot because then that way, hopefully, that could insulate and keep some of the cool in and some of the heat out. Um, plus in the winter time it'll do the opposite which I'm really looking forward to the winter because once it starts cooling down around like September October staying like 70 degrees this this will be a breeze and in the winter time when it actually gets cold at night usually here to get below zero every once in a while if I have a good sleeping bag like come on that'll be it'll be way better than being in the fucking heat um other experiences I've had there really hasn't been too much sketch going on. There was some little 12 year olds fucking like roaming around the parking lot the other day at the college and I was getting pissed off because I'm like, why are your children on a fucking college campus? Please watch them. I don't want to deal with them. They shouldn't be here. I'm pretty sure they're not doing anything productive here. And they were talking like they were hoodlums. So, parents, keep an eye on your kids. They're going to get themselves into trouble. 
and that's pretty much it. I did get a lot of the junk out of here I had that I was storing that I talked about in the last video for my door move out because I did go home. Um, I didn't get to modify my bed because I was just kind of lazy and didn't do it because I wanted to put the clothes underneath. Um, but I've just been keeping them in a bag here, which is kind of fine. I pretty much wear the same stuff every week anyway. I'm at work most of the time and then I'm just wearing my tank tops and shorts all the other days because it's hot. Probably when school semester starts, I'll need to actually start searching out clothes because I want to wear jeans and stuff. Um, next school semester will be pretty good. I'm taking classes Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday all day, which is going to be a struggle because I basically work overnights. So I'm going to have like a three hour gap on Tuesdays and Thursdays because my class starts at 10 and goes till 4. And then I'll have like another like six hour gap to sleep. So I'm going to have to sleep in shifts then. Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then Wednesday my classes go like all day. They start at 1 and go to like 7, so um, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays I'm not just sleeping shifts, which kind of sucks, but at least I'll have weekends off to do homework and relax, and Mondays and Fridays I'll just kind of sleep to catch up on what I don't won't get in the weekdays. Um... But yeah, if you have any other recommendations of me staying cool, please let me know. I think I asked that last video, but none of you bitches gave me any recommendations. Like, I was expecting some wise-ass comment, like, get in a fucking apartment. But nobody did it. Nobody. Um, but I think that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.